Hello Year 5. This week we're going to be looking at fractions and revising fractions. Really important area that we started working on obviously just before we went into lockdown. So we're going to take this chance to just go over it and see that we're really in a good place when we come back. So first of all we're going to look at converting mixed numbers and improper fractions. Just a reminder, an improper fraction remember is a fraction where the numerator, the number on top, is greater than the denominator, is larger than the denominator. And so we're talking about numbers, that are fractions that are bigger than the number one. Think about my quarters. I've got one quarter, two quarters or a half, three quarters, four quarters, which is the same as one. I've shaded in four parts out of four, I've shaded in one whole. And now we're into improper fractions, things like five quarters, six quarters, etc. A mixed number is when you've got an integer, a whole number, and a fraction. So like two and two thirds. And the really important thing to remember is you can't have something like this. You can't have an improper fraction and an integer. That doesn't work. It's got to be a proper fraction. So in terms of converting between mixed numbers and improper fractions, which we have to do sometimes, the way that we worked on it was to use area models. So we said, look, seven quarters, for instance. Well, let's draw that. So I'm going to draw a shape. I've got four parts in my shape because I'm doing quarters. So I'm going to color in one, two, three, four. Well, hang on, I need seven. So I'm going to need another shape, another hole, another unit. Again, split it into four equal parts because we're dealing with quarters. Now I've got five, six, seven. So I've got four quarters and three quarters gives me seven quarters. But now as a mixed number, well, I can really clearly see that that is one whole and three quarters, which we write as one and three quarters, one and three quarters. Let's have a look at some more examples. So say I had eight thirds and I wanted to write that as a mixed number. So eight thirds is bigger than one. It's going to be bigger than two, I think, because six thirds is two. So let's again draw our model. One third, so one, two, three, three thirds, or one. Another one. Again, splitting into three equal parts. Four, five, six, another three thirds, two holes. And I still haven't got to eight thirds, so I need another hole, another unit, seven. Eight. And I can now really clearly see what I have here is two whole units and oops, two thirds left over. So pause the video now. You're going to have a go. Really make sure you draw these models. Even if you think you can see what to do, it's really important we draw those models to help with our understanding. I'd like you to convert this number, 11 fifths, into a mixed number. Okay, so we've got fifths, one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five fifths. Well, haven't got to 11 yet, so let's draw another unit. So one, two, three, four, again, splitting it into five equal parts because that's my denominator. Another five fifths, and so I've got 10 fifths in total. So I still need another set of fifths, 11. So I can now see I've got, again, two whole units, one, two, and one fifth left over. Let's think then about how we go the other way. So going from a mixed number to an improper fraction. So say we've got three and one quarter. Well, again, I'm going to draw my bar models. I'm going to say, look, I've got three holes. Each hole has four equal parts. So I'm going to draw three of them. One, two, three. And because it's three, they're going to be shaded in completely. Three whole units, so four quarters four quarters, four quarters, and another quarter. So I've got three whole units and one quarter. So in total, I've got four, eight, 12, 13 quarters. So three and one quarter is the same as 13 quarters. Let's look at another example, and then it's going to be your turn. Uh, two and one third. Again, I'm going to draw my two holes, two whole units, shade them in every part, three thirds, 
same as one, three thirds, same as one. So I've got six thirds here, which is the same as two. Six thirds, the same as two whole units. And then I've got that extra third at the end. So in total, I've got three, six, seven thirds. And just notice those denominators stay the same. I'm not changing the number of parts I'm splitting up into. I'm just changing how I'm writing this fraction. So your turn. Again, draw these bar models to help you. Have a go at changing this one five and a half into an improper fraction and three and one sixth into an improper fraction. Off you go. Okay, so let's have a look at this. I'm going to draw my five units. I'm splitting them up into two equal parts. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I've got an extra half at the end. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven halves. What about this one? I'm going to draw my three whole units. Split them up into six equal parts because my denominator is six. And then an extra set of sixths. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen sixths in total. Okay, stop the video now and go and have a go at the independent task. But remember, if you're struggling, draw these area models is really going to help you to get to the solution and to understand as well what is going on rather than just learning a formula.